Okay, Gemini, this is your reading. It's the Midnight Love Check-In. Let's see what's happening. Okay, I'm gonna do a card for you, a card for them, the outcome, and then the steps you should take. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the devil. Ooh, who are you addicted to? <laughs> There's like a, there could be a toxic energy that you're addicted to, or they're addicted to you. Could be codependency. Someone around you is codependent. That's all I'm saying. We'll get to those in a minute. All right, so in their energy, we have the King of Cups. All right, so this is somebody who's very compassionate. They've got a love, lot of love to give you. They're coming in. Um, they could be, there could be a little bit of, I was going to say age difference, but potentially because we have a, you know, a parent and a child here. That's just kind of getting an age difference. But this person is kind of like, um, they're very focused on you. <laughs> they want to take things to the next level, okay? In your energy, we have the Nine of Wands reverse. So something has kind of made you feel like, um, you know, maybe uh, there was a burden, like a feeling of burden about this. It's like they could be coming on too strong for you. But I know Geminis. <laughs> I know how you operate. Um... You know, like sometimes air signs can, I'm an air sign, like a double air sign. So I know how like we can get kind of overwhelmed when someone shows a lot of emotion and feeling like back up, like you're too much, right? So, you know, maybe that's how you're feeling. Again, like I always say the energies can be reversed. So if this is you and this is them, whatever. And if it doesn't resonate, it's not your reading. Um... But yeah, it's almost like maybe you felt a little overwhelmed because this person, sometimes the King of Cups can be a little bit like um, possessive, who they love, okay? Now in the outcome, we have the strength reversed. So it's like this, I think like somebody's not going to hold back. Like I feel almost like whatever the situation is here, like you may or them may, whoever's coming on too strong or like, you whoever feels like they're being a little suffocated or like the person's like um too much and they're gonna say something because when the strength cards reverse it's about we're just kind of like we're not holding back we're just saying what we want like we don't but it's like it's still kind of like a heavy energy leo energy could be dealing with the leo some of you your um course of action we have the seven of pentacles reverse so it's like you have to figure out whether or not this is something that you can deal with, especially on an emotional level. Like, is this person too much for you? Um, you know, and it's about kind of like releasing that feeling of weight and heaviness. Because the Seven of Pentacles, it's about putting in the work and effort into something. So you have to figure out, is this something that you want to put in the work and effort to? This isn't a bad person. This is just someone who's very, very like... They, they could be very possessive they may like shower you with love you know what i mean but it, it may feel overwhelming especially if you're not used to that okay and again we have that devil card in the the bottom of the deck which can be a codependent energy so they may be a little codependent okay so let's just get some more three of cups reversed yeah what i get this person could be jealous <clears throat> they could exhibit signs of jealousy like if you talk to other people um which could make you feel like, what the hell's going on? Like, why is this person so much, you know? Like, not doing anything. It's like they almost may not trust you to be around other members, like members of the opposite sex, okay? Like, territorial jealousy a little bit. Let's get some more. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Wands reversed. So, yeah, this is someone who can fly off the handle. It's a fiery energy. And like I said, I think someone's going to just, like, say their piece and be like, why are you doing this? Like, there could be a little bit of an argument, um, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I don't think it's going to be, like, a major one, but you just have to figure out whether or not this is, to adjust my camera, this is something that you're able to deal with, right? 
but the Queen of Wands reverse can be like kind of, um, they have a temper. They have a temper. So this person may ignite your temper. Then we have the Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, again, do we want to work on this? Is this something that you see long term as someone that you can deal with? Are you, can you deal with their, their jealousy? <clears throat> Six of Wands in the way you need to progress or your advice. You don't have to do it, right? For the, sorry, the Nine of Wands reverse and then the Nine of Cups. So we have two Nines here. Okay, this is like we're almost completing a cycle. So we're getting to the end of like this feeling of like, do I deal with this? Do I not deal with this? Nine of Cups is really like that energy of like being happy, getting their wish fulfilled. So you have to wonder like, okay, if I let this go, is everything gonna be okay? Is everything gonna move in the direction I want it to move? And I think it will. It's just a matter of the two of you um, coming to terms on this person being like emotionally a little bit much, okay? And like figuring out the jealousy issue. So let's get a relationship theme. What's going on in your relationship? What's the theme here? romantic feelings yeah so your feelings are real and worth exploring so you know this is something that's like i kind of get a soulmate connection here um but it's like don't hold back on your feelings because you feel like this person is a lot you know their feelings are genuine their feelings are genuine don't question their feelings it's just like that kind of codependent energy that i pick up from the other party so it's like just be aware be careful okay a message from them to you it's really going to be about you figuring out how to communicate effectively with this person about your feelings and how they act um because like there could be that trigger there right? so let's see what a message is from them i never stop loving you yeah so if they like if they're showing up and they're like jealous or there's been arguments or whatever, it doesn't mean they don't love you. It just means that they're like very attached to you. And this is their way of expressing like their fears are coming out. Their fears are coming out to play. And it's like, hey, I'm a jealous person or I'm a little codependent. I'm afraid you're going to leave me, whatever. Um, you know, so it's like they do care for you a lot. Um, this is their... <laughs> This is their way of expressing it. Everyone has their own love language. Sometimes codependency is people's love language. So, um, you know, it's up to you. It's going to be up to you how to proceed in this situation. Okay? So that's going to be your reading. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.